Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. And this week we're going to take another comparison or do another comparison between some different Neve 1073 preamp plugins. So a couple of weeks back, and you can check the link in the description box below, we did um, a bunch of comparisons between a few different plugins. We took a look at the Universal Audio 1073. We took a look at the Arturi or Artura 1073. Um, and we compared them back and forth. We also compared that to some hardware. Um, and after that video, got a lot of great comments, a lot of great feedback. And some folks had said, do you have any other 1073s like the Sheps by Waves or the T-Rax or the Lindell uh, by Plugin Alliance? As a matter of fact, I do. So we're going to take um, a listen to comparison between those today. So today what we're going to do, we have four 1073 uh, plugins that we're going to listen to preamps only. Um, the winner of the last video, it seemed to be pretty uh, widely, um, the opinions were that the Universal Audio Neve 1073 here was the one that people favored as, out of all of the plugins that we compared in the last video. So we're going to take a listen to that one more time today. Okay, now we're not using EQ section, we're just using the preamp section. And I've turned hit it pretty hard and turning down the output to compensate. We're going to compare that to the waves. Sheps 1073, again, no EQ uh, section, just the preamp section, okay? Um, and then we're gonna compare that to the T-Rex uh, EQ 73, again, just the preamp section, no EQ. And then lastly, by Plugin Alliance, the Lindell 80 series, and again, everything is shut off with the exception of the preamp section. So we have a, a mix here, not even a mix, it's just raw tracks of drums, percussion, bass, a couple acoustics, an electric and piano, no vocals because for copyright reasons I don't want to get get whacked on that. So let me just double check our 1073s and make sure that the EQ section is not turned on on all of these just to make just to be sure because I just loaded these up. I want to double check and triple check and make sure now on the on the um, waves and on the universal audio, you have um, stereo versions and mono versions of the plugin, and you always want to make sure that you're using the appropriate um, plugin for a stereo track or a mono track. We have a few mono tracks here, and we have some stereo tracks as well, so I wanted to double check all of those, okay? So here's without any of the preamps. Here is what we have as far as um, just the raw tracks, just kind of threw up the faders. There's no EQ, no compression, no nada. <laughs> so here we go. Here's a little bit of music uh, with the raw tracks so you can get a reference of where we're starting. Okay, that's what we're dealing with here. So let me also too, we have our drums going to a drum bus and there's nothing on the drum bus. I just had this routed for another video, but I can remove this just to, so we make sure we have everything routed the same exact way. Let me get rid of all these inputs. Here we go. Okay, so let's save this. Okay, so the first up is gonna be the Universal Audio 1073, which happened to be, most people thought was the winner last time. Again, no EQ, just hitting the preamp and then turning down the plugin output so we kind of level match it as I drove more signal into the preamp. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn this on. We'll start with the raw, we'll start at the beginning with nothing and then you'll see me turn the power buttons on here and all the universal audios will come on and we'll do the same thing for all the other ones. Um, if there's a little hesitation or a little pop or a click when we're turning the plugins on and off, that just sometimes will happen. So just
Okay, so there you go. There's the universal audio. So again, what you're hearing a little bit is, you know, some of the higher end frequencies are being, are poking out a little bit more. So it, it may be appear to be a little bit brighter, a little bit louder, but I've tried to really level match it. It's not really a volume thing that we're hearing here. It's a very slight difference, but I tried to make it as even Stevens as possible. So that's the universal audio. Now we're going to listen to the Sheps 1073. Again, same thing. No EQ. I'm driving the preamp just as hard as I was on the Universal Audio. Let's hear. We'll start from the beginning with no preamp, and then we will kick in our Sheps 1073. Just the preamp. Okay, so there's the Sheps 1073. Now to my ear, the 1073 Sheps 1073 is the one that has the least amount of audible effect, in my opinion. It seems like it's almost, to my ears, to be totally honest, almost non-existent, just the preamp, not adding really anything in way of, um, in any kind of different kind of coloration, or it's almost transparent to my ear. That's just my opinion. Okay, now let's do the same thing. Whoops, let me get all the tracks back. Let's now take a look at the T-Rex EQ73, again, just using the preamp and turning down the output, just like on the others, to, um, to compensate for the increase in volume as we're hitting the preamp a little harder. We'll start with it off. Okay, so there's the T-Rack. So that one to me sounds like it has a little bit, a little like Universal Audio here, a little bit more depth and a little bit more coloration than I do to the Sheps. Okay, and now last, but certainly not least, we're going to take a listen to the Plugin Alliance Lindell 80. Same thing, just the preamp. Okay, and here we go. Let's start from the beginning. And then we're, we're going to compare them, turn them, each of them on and off so you can, can hear the difference. Okay, so there is the Lindell uh, by Plugin Alliance. So those are the four. So now we're gonna compare them 
um, to each other. So what I'm going to do is, as that music passage is playing, I'll turn on the universal audios for a few seconds, turn it off, turn on the sheps, turn it off, turn it on the, you know, I'll go try to bounce around a little bit so you can hear the difference. They all sound a little bit different from each other. Um, and then you can decide for yourself, which one do you like the best? <laughs> okay, so here we go. So let's start and we'll just keep your eye on the... Okay, so which one do you like the best? So what I can tell you, what I hear here in my headphones and how it comes across on YouTube is always a, a crapshoot. Um, I tend to feel that the Lindell and the Universal Audio, and I'll move that one up to the second slot here, tends to sound a little bit more similar to each other. They tend to have a little bit more depth to them and a little bit more of an open upper mid range. It opens up the top end a little bit, gets a little bit more clarity. What um, um, the third in line as far as where I hear that audible effect is on the T-Rex. And then last in the line, to my ear, the Shep 73 has the least amount of effect from an audible standpoint. So it's then it becomes, well, which one do you like better? If the top two were the Neve and the, or the Universal Audio and the Lindell, which one do I like better? I don't know. Let's listen. Let's just listen to the difference between the Universal Audio one and the Lindell one by Plugin Alliance. And let's see how much of a difference there is. It almost sounds to me like the Lindell's a touch bit louder. Although I singled up these tracks, soloed them before we started rolling here. And I level matched them on and off, on and off, on and off. So they're, they're pretty darn close. Um, I think the Lindell may tend to be a little more open on the top end. And it, so it, the perceived volume is a little bit louder because it's had a little bit more top to it. But let's listen. Let's start with it off and then we'll listen to the... So there you go. So there are four more Neve 1073 plugin emulations. Which one do you like the best? Do you like the Universal Audio? Do you like the Lindell? Do you like the T-Rex? Or do you like the Sheps? Which one do you like best? Again, in, in my mind, the UA and the Lindell are very close. Um, I can live with either one of those. And both of those are much better than having nothing on the track at all. Um, this one, not bad, but a, quite a bit more subtle. Um, and the Sheps to me, again, from the, from the preamp point of view, really there's, it's almost indistinguishable when you turn it on and off, at least in my cans, that's how I hear it. Now, well, again, we're not using the EQ on any of this. So if we went back to the EQ section and did that with the preamp, would there be a difference? I don't know. Maybe that's for another video. However, that is a comparison. People have asked me to do that after the first video. And again, why well, go back and watch the first video where I compare the Artira, this plugin, uh, hardware. Oh, and the Slate Digital, right. The Slate Digital 1073. Um, as well. We compared those and now we've compared these and that's all the 1073s that I own. So I own like six or eight of them. Um, and 
Let me know what you think. Leave comments below. Let me know which one you like. Do you own any of these? Do you, which one do you um, like better? Again, I think it's all going to depend on the system that you're listening to your, this example on. But if you can listen to it on a good set of headphones and or studio monitors, that would probably be the most beneficial is being able to hear some of the subtle differences because they are subtle, but the accumulative effect across an entire mix can really give you a nice foundation to work from. If you have tracks that were not recorded through a high quality preamp, um, this is a way to add some of that uh, to it before you start mixing. You have a nice, uh, a nice tonality and some nice color that it adds to your mix. So I'd be interested to know what you think. Leave your comments below. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, or at least I should have said, I want to give you a couple of free gifts for checking us out here. If this is your first time here, welcome to Home Recording Made Easy. Go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. I want to give you my mixing, my mini mixing training course, a free training course right on the homepage. Click on the orange button, download it today. And along with that training course, you're going to get the audio file so you can mix the song along with me with the video. You're also going to get a PDF of my five top tips to a professional sounding mix so you can apply it right away to that mini course today. And if um, you want anything else on the website, any other training courses, I'm going to give you a coupon code YouTube 25 will take 25% off any other training course at home recording All the links are in the description box below. And until the next video, I've been Dave with home recording made easy.com and mixing made easy.net. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.